Hello YouTube, I'm Private Dave. This is Royal Tanks. Um, bring you something different today. I know, shocking. Um, today it's gonna be my AMX 5120. A tank I recently bought back uh, due to the uh, sale. So yeah, um, I didn't. I did really well in this tank before, but I didn't really like it. So I figured might as well give it another shot and right there bottoming out on that little uh, crater so that's great now I just want to point out I'm with Panzer and Wampa in this one Wampa's in his Ferdinand very good tank Panzer's in his E75 another very good tank however in this game Panzer has the 105 so just keep that in mind um, so yeah going to this corner initially and I'm looking at their team I might Maybe that's not a good idea, because I, I can only picture a Yag Tiger sitting in that window waiting for me to peek out with no armor and all, so it, it probably wouldn't go well. So I tell Panzer to take the corner since he actually has armor, and I decide, no, I'm going to help the mediums. So I'm going over there, and right about now, uh, Yag Tiger's over there, so I didn't actually have to worry about that. And it's a tiger too. Though there is a tortoise on the corner, so I suppose my fear was somewhat real. So I'm gonna go help the mediums break through, and then go help the city again. That's a game plan, uh, at least. Now I tend to play my AMX 5120 like a uh, like a heavy medium, really. Um, it, at least in my opinion, it doesn't have that great of armor if any armor really. Uh, if you're lying on your armor to bounce shots in this tank, I, in my opinion you're probably doing it wrong. Um, I tend to try not getting shot in this and doing as much damage as I can without being hit in return. So I'm gonna play it like a medium, see how that goes. We have a uh, T-54 E1 over here with us and our T-54 is in the city. Still getting used to this tank. I I played probably I think 30 games in it. So one thing I'm not a fan of in this tank is the uh, the gun depression and gun elevation on it because it's it hits pretty bad. So right away we see the T54 E1 is over there, and the only thing really here is the T54 T29 and Type 59. So let's see if we can kill these quickly. Kind of playing it a bit cautiously right now, but I'm gonna try killing that T4 in a second here. Get one good hit in and then I get tracked. Fire again, that bounces. That's disappointing. And now he's in cover. However, it does look like he's pulling out the other side of that building, so I'm gonna i gonna test my luck here and see what happens. Another downside to the uh okay, good hit there. To the AMX 5120 is the aiming time in my opinion. It's, it's not that great. But um I'm reloading, letting the team know so that they don't expect me to be pushing with them, because that would be bad. Wampa's um Decided to just charge up the uh, the middle there and just kill everything apparently. Panzer's asking me for help, so I'm gonna go to the city now, go down this middle road and try getting behind them. And I see that T28 prototype there, but I'm not loaded yet, so I'm gonna hope one he doesn't spot me and two that I reload in time to get some hits on him. I do indeed, and that's gonna hurt. And it drops, and can I get one more? Yes I can. Oh, it's a tiger too, is he gonna sit there as well? Yep, no, that sounds. Probably should've waited. Like, I was expecting him to move forward, so I was hoping his side would be there by the time my shell got to it, but um, yeah, he backed up instead. So that, that didn't go well. Our AMX 1390 gets derped by their arty, so that's disappointing.
Now Panzer's in a very bad spot right now. He has the 105, he has 107 hit points, and he's about to get flanked by Yagtiger in a full, fully upgraded E75. Now I'm trying to see if I can kill this Tiger too, and no, he runs away. Now Panzer's all alone, which is bad, because they can kill him. And I'm, I'm pretty much just telling him now, um, even though you have 107 hit points, you have a better rate of fire than them. And just use your armor and angle it to try staying alive at this point. Until I get there at least. And I don't know what happened to the C-75, but I'm going to track him. That wasn't actually planned. Fire one into him, and I'm going to sit here because he can't turn his turret fast enough. And he's dead. Now I have to reload again. It's a Tiger II attacking Panzer. He should be able to handle this. The only thing I'm worried about is that T-32 there. He kills the Tiger II. And... Will the T-32 kill him or not? Uh, it is stock. Maybe not. No. No. Wampa gets a ninja shot there. And takes a hit from a tortoise to keep Panzer alive. So now I'm gonna... See if I can help Wampa over there. And kill this tortoise. And uh, this tortoise decided to go into beast mode at the end, apparently, as you'll see in a minute. So come around this corner. I know the GW Tiger was here. And there he is. And I'm getting him faster. Goodbye. <coughs> now, um, he's having to deal with that tortoise. I'm hoping he stays alive, and then he dies. That's not good. Now, Tortoise kills the Tiger 2 and going for the 25. And now he just notices me, but too late. That's a good win. Sadly, I do not have the replay or the uh, after powers all of this. Moving on to the next game. Alright, on to the final game in this video. Um, so we have El Haloof here. And this game was kind of disappointing. We're not not really disappointing, more as it was frustrating at times. And you'll see in a minute. Now my initial game plan is to use my speed to get to the hill and... What the hell was that? That's odd. Anyways. Uh, use my speed and get up to that hill and hopefully shoot them on their way down. Get a bit of air there. Now, I'm climbing the hill here and hoping that they can't get down to the 1-2 uh, the line before I get there. So, uh, hopefully I can get there in time. Luckily there is no artillery in this match, so that's the bright side here. Artillery seems to love French heavy tanks for some reason. It's probably the lack of armor. And the giant turret, maybe. I don't know. So right away... Oh, that's not going to plan. Oh god. I don't get away with that. I do get one hit into me, sadly. Now, this is kind of an awkward position, because I don't have the gun depression to um, engage them, and I'm a giant target with no armor, so I don't want to hang around there. And, uh, I'm gonna go over to where this IS is, and see if I can hit anybody dumb enough to go into the middle. But as you're gonna see in a minute, the AMX 5120 does not have gun elevation either. Um, see how I'm, uh, I'm able to hit that, uh, little ridge over there? Yeah, just wait until I move forward a bit. Now I'm looking at the IS, I'm thinking, you know, that might be a good spot for me. If I, uh, go up there. Now watch this, I can just barely get my gun LV enough to hit there. And that's, that's pretty bad. Now I move forward to see if I can hit the IS that was over there, and <laughs> no, no I can't. So our IS is just kind of rush him down there and see what happens I guess. Our AMX M4 is complaining about something. I, I don't feel like going over there so I decided you know what, maybe I should climb up here now. 
So I'm gonna test my luck up here now. Now, I don't want to push my luck too much, because, yeah, yeah, they're looking at me. Shit. That's a lot of big guns, and I don't feel like getting hit by them. So I'm going to get test my luck there. I'm going to get hit in there. Three rounds left in my clip. And let's see if I can get some more hits in without taking hits in return. Generally a good policy. Ooh, what was that? I think that was the Yag Panther too. Pretty sure that was the Yag Panther too. Take a blind shot at me. See, now they're kind of concerned about me, which is good, because it means they're no longer focusing on the P75 by himself. See, now they're not as eager to uh, forward a bit. P75. Oh, no, the AMX takes a big hit there. Let me see if I can push forward. I'm, I'm mainly waiting for them to turn their turrets towards like the E-75 and then I'll take a shot for a chance. See, I, I kind of... I'm waiting... and there we go. I get lucky there so it bounced up at the last second. Good hit there and now I'm just gonna back off and reload. So I, I might as well take the time if they're just kind of cowering there to reload is what I figure and then they push forward right after. So yeah. if. If their team was more aggressive, this could have gone horribly wrong with me choosing a reload there. But luckily I am... Luckily they didn't push and I happen to be in a... a defilade where they can't hit me unless I pop up to shoot them. So they're kinda... like you can tell they're worried about me there. Is this ISA? I decide, yes, I'm gonna have that. I say to make a uh, a tasty snack. So I decide to go for another reload here. I think maybe no, no I don't. Yeah, yeah I do. Okay. Now I'm just gonna see if I can get a shot in that yag panther too. I think I probably could have shot it from here actually. Uh, now that I think, now that I see the replay. But uh, I reload. And I figured they had that under control. It's just an E-75 and an IS, or two ISs down there. So what could go wrong? Uh, okay. Our IS-8 and Conqueror are about to, Our IS-8 and Conqueror did die. Our E-75 is about to die. Our IS is damaged and our Tiger P is cracked. Oh god. So I'm about to reload. Fire at that. And I'm gonna have that. Goodbye. Time to move up and ooh, that's not good. Yeah, he was waiting for me there. I think that was the T29 taking a shot at me. Or he was shooting the WZ. Now I see the WZ kinda asking for help and I decide I can take out this T29. That's one less gun shooting at him. And now I'm reloading. So I figured the WZ should have it. Uh, under control. It's a tier 9 medium after all, and the Ag Panther 2 was on the hill, so you shouldn't be able to hit it. So it's just a tiger. But he pushed up to like a rock, showing his back to the Ag Panther 2. So, yeah, that's. he's dead. Now we have uh, 3,000 damage done, which isn't bad. Um, Play a couple other games today, and I was extremely enraged by the fact that I was getting like uh, four to six thousand damage in my uh, Amex 5120, and still losing with like the only kills for the team, which was great. I just love teams like that. It, it's so much fun, really, having the only t kills for the team and just watching your team crumble around you. So I decided to flank this Yag yeah, Panther 2 here. Now, that 5916, I decided to try killing. Because I figured the E75 and IS won't push him. Then he dies, and then our E75 dies. So, 
I decided to push up now, finally. And in a minute, yeah, there you go. There's a tiger. I'm not sure if he can see me or not. I think he can. Because right in a minute, after I kill this Yag Panther 2, uh, right here, I'm gonna get shot. And right there you go. That's Tiger, which was camping base the whole time. So now I'm in a uh, predicament because I have no armor and he can mess up my day. So I'm gonna. He's obviously rushing me. So I'm gonna sit here, see if I can track him. Which I think I don't, but he just kind of sits there. Um, I take a hit there, get a good hit there, and I'm reloading. Oh god. And that's the lucky bounce. Now, I'm, he's focusing on me mainly. So I'm just kind of hoping the IS or someone can actually shoot him and kill him. While he's just sitting in the open. I'm just sitting here trying to uh, get him to come after me maybe, but no. That's a win. Uh, going on to the after power result. So that was a, uh, a pretty good game. Not bad if I do say so myself. Pretty good. Pretty good.